Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Duck Hunt Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. In the last episode, we beat K. Rule's Keep. There was no boss at the end, but we were given a red herring. Well, not really a red herring, but the false hope of rescuing Duck Kong as K Captain K. Rule took him away to the Flying Croc. In this episode, we're going to be following along him and going into Screech's Sprint, the last level of, well... Uh, I wouldn't say of the entire game, but the last level of uh, of the the main campaign, as it were, if you want to call it such. Can I pick this up before? Yeah, I can. So that's actually one of those things that like jump out and be all like, Hurr! and they're they're mean and scary. We've seen them before, especially the TNT ones. The, those guys are awful. Uh, I think the, I've, arguably the the uh, the black ones are are are, uh, are worse because they take your lives. But uh, the TNT ones will, will kill you and, and make you lose your progress. So I guess it depends on what's worse, how many lives you lose in that in that instance, or losing progress and having to start the level over. Grab this. There's some cat of nine tails around here that we want to avoid. Please launch me to the right, you fool. You fool. Hey, there's a, there's a cannon up there. We need to be very careful here. All right. Step two, get up there. Step three, we get up here, jump in. Ooh, if we missed that jump, we would have died. So it's good that we did that. Find the token. Let's do it. This one is interesting because it sort of forces you to. Oh my god. Whoa. Didn't really have a lot going there. Oh no. All right, well, we can try it again. And jump in there. Boom! This might take a few tries, honestly. All right. I can get over here and then drop. Good. I'll switch to Diddy. Son of a... All right, let's keep pace. This one is pretty much impossible to, to do without Dixie, so... Okay, let's try this again. Nope, okay. There we go, okay. I don't remember if you actually need to fall here or what, but yeah, okay, I'd rather do that. Whew, that was really close. Yeah, we got it! 74 out of 75 crumb coins. We are almost done. Whew. Okay, this is where things get a little bit tricky. There we go. There's the halfway point already. And for this last bit, we are playing as Squawks. And who is this? This is Screech. And we have to race Screech, but we can make things a little bit easier because there are a ton of shortcuts in this area. And go over there, grab the O. Okay, that was a bad idea. But if we go up this way, we can get ourselves another Kong and the Hero Coin. So that's good. Ooh, don't want to go in there. Fire down there, fire over there, fire over here. There's Screech! There are other letters around here, but they're, uh... They're a touch difficult to get and win the race at the same time. I shouldn't have done- I ought not to have- Oh, I ought not to have done that. All right. So, uh, now that I've actually died, I don't have to grab the DK coin anymore. I could, I could, uh, maintain my lead ahead of Screech a little bit better. The problem is that he can go through the enemies. I can't. So that ends up being a little bit of a detriment in some regards here. I think he's actually relatively close to catching up to me here, so I need to- Oh, wait, I won! First place! I don't think you actually get anything for winning that, but it's just nice to be able to do. At any rate, that's the last level of the main bit here. Uh, now let's go ahead and save at the Kong College. See how far we are on our, on our, our game here. Come on in and sit down, children. I'm sure all that running has made you tired. Save game one coin! Oh my god, we're almost there, my god. But that person looks a little bit low for everything that we have done! What the hell, Wrinkly, have we been doing? 
The final gambit here, the K rule duel. We've gotten all the DK coins and bonus barrels throughout this entire game. Let's get in there and fight Captain K rule. Oh, stop beating up Donkey Kong! You're shooting him! What's the point of just kidnapping him? So the way this battle's gonna work is he's gonna most like mostly be uh, going from side to side here, and eventually he's gonna try and suck you in using his gun for some reason that works. You wanna throw the cannonballs that he fires out at him. And uh, that will deal him damage. And each time, oh no! Each time you do that, uh, the, it, we get to advance a little bit more and more into the uh, into the phases here. Boop boop boop. So now he's gonna launch two. And you're gonna want to be careful here. All right, so he does that. The closer one to him gets knocked away or gets uh, unspikeified. Boom! And we beat him! That's it! Game over! There's DK, let's get him back, never mind, he's up. So now what he's gonna do is fire, uh, spike cannonballs at you in various patterns. And in varying speeds as well. And once he launches a barrel, it, comes, it gives you a non-spike cannonball that you can throw into his gun, and... Boof! God. I have, like, so many memories of, uh, of, of this fight, because I played it a lot. And then, in this one, he starts off by launching these at you in uh, bouncing patterns. I just lost Dixie, which is burned. Oh, uh, There's the barrel. Alright, here come the bouncing bits again. We're ready for it this time. And... Give me that barrel, yes! Follow the bouncing barrel! And in we go. No, 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 next phase. Keep it coming, boyo. The spinners! The ones that are spinning like... Oh, no. This actually just got a touch harder without Dixie around. And the bits where he fires two at a time do not help at all. However, on the ones where it goes long, actually you, you could you could jump between them and that makes things a little bit easier, but now shoot that in there. Boom! Knocked out, he's dead, done! Never gonna happen again, never mind, he's alive once again. This time, instead of bullets, he's shooting gas! The, okay, well, uh, well, the, so the blue gas, uh, freezes you. And, uh, I don't know why he turns invisible there, but he does, so... And you may, you may be thinking, well, the blue gas, so he's only shooting out blue gas, right? No, he's shooting out more! That's the red gas! The red gas makes you slow. Which is why he does that. And we haven't even gotten to the worst gas of all. The purple gas. The purple gas reverses your controls. So I need to be careful here. in where he's gonna come up next. But I seem to be doing a good job at it. Never mind! Never mind! All right, purple gas this time. Let's try this again. What you're supposed to do to avoid it, except they did it wrong. Uh, you're supposed to try to like jump in between them. Whoop! Okay, well I got Diddy, so hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, okay, so he's not gonna do it again. But his, his position will change each time. I think you move slower when you're in reverse as well. Although Diddy just moves faster in general, so that's probably why I got, like, destroyed there. There we go, and... That's the last hit. If you, if you actually take the brunt of that cannonball, you die, so... We did it! But he's getting back up! What are we gonna do? Donkey Kong freed himself! He punched him! We, we get to live another day, guys! He's down, he's out, and he gets eaten by sharks. Maybe it's the chomps from the, like, uh, chomps from the first game. I knew you'd do it, Diddy, my boy, but how could you fail having learned all you know from old Cranky here? You 
have rescued that lazy grandson of mine and dumped K. Rule in his own filthy swamp. Not bad for a novice. Of course, if I'd been playing, I'd have made sure that K. Rule never tries a cheap trick like that, like this again. What could he mean by that? I reckon I'd have found all the creme coins and completed the so-called lost world. Oh well, can't expect everything from your first game, can we? One more thing. How many of my special video game hero coins did you find? A real player such as myself would have found plenty, I'm sure. Let's see how well you did, eh? So this is more or less how well you did. If you got less than, I believe it's 19, then Link will be on the number three spot instead of you being up there in general. Well, I've got a second screen uh, and about, oh geez. Hey, not bad for a youngin. Of course, you're gonna have to find a few more if you want to be as, uh, as big a hero as I was. You can see there's also the No Hopers where you see Sonic Shoes and Earthworm Jim's blaster. Wanna look at your limited progress on this screen? Press the top left, wait. Press the left, top, and right top buttons while uh, while you are on any of the map screens. Now buzz off and see if you can find some more of my coins, which I I very much doubt you will. That's interesting. He said something that I never knew about before. But we get the cast of characters, so I'm okay with that. The Lazy Landlubbers. I finally get to learn all their names. Neek. Yep, I thought it was Squeaks, but it was Neek the Rat. Click Clack was the name of those beetles. A huge improvement in terms of uh, how to, uh, being able to handle them over the, the, the armies in the first game. Spiny the Porcupine. Can only be killed with uh, cartwheels. Cat of Nine Tails. Jerk. Just tangles you up in your tails. Flitter. I like these guys. They're cute little dragonflies. Except they kill you, so they're not that great. Mini Necky. Is that actually, I, I believe, is more or less a uh, repeat from the, the first game? Zinger. Except the only difference between the, the mini neckies then and now is that they have a, uh, a headband. Screech! Submerged Sea Dogs. Arr, pirate game. Flotsam. They're called Flotsam. I know they're supposed to be flatfish, but I, I've always called them amoebas. Shuri! I, you know, I'm kind of surprised they don't show the different varieties of them. Puff Tup. Because they were like the dark red ones as well. They showed all the varieties in the first game. Lockjaw. There's also a pink lockjaw. Also different, uh, different varieties of Puff Tub as well. Oh, oh, you know what? Nope, they're just differently named. Snapjaw. Lockjaw and Snapjaw are the different ones. Crumbling Cutthroats. But still, the Puff Tubs had different colors. Clomp. I remember Clomp. What were the Barrel Boys called? Clinger. Yep, you just keep climbing up that greased up rope, buddy. Kaboing. I just realized they have telescopes for legs, which is why they can bounce so much. Clamp on, that's what they're called. Yep, discount clap traps. Clobber. That's what those guys are called? Clobbers? Huh. Crook. Because he's a crocodile with a hook. He's, he's a crook. Cutlass. There was also the green variety of cutlass, which might have its own, uh... No, you know, they probably don't have their own their own variety. Cloak. <laughs> I guess there's like a Kremlin in there or something. Cannon. <laughs> ah! Fire! <laughs> Cruncha, which is like a miniature version of Crusha. Clank. <laughs> it doesn't even do his animation, it's just oddly still. Cackle. These dead legless ghost pirates. Clubba. Ooh, actually, I guess he is a bad guy because he because he keeps us from, from getting to where we need to go. Barnacle bosses, there was Crow. Ooh, the sound is screwing up on this. Cleaver, it didn't, it, it, the sound didn't screw up when I was fighting him initially, did he? Did it? Cleaver. Cudgel, which is basically just clubba in a, in a gray skin. King Zing, we fought Queen Zing in Donkey Kong Country 1. Ugh, look at that pulsating on the back there, good lord. And Captain K. Rule. Wait, what was, th oh, they didn't show Creepy Crow. Animal Buddies, we got Rambi. Our dog, our horned dog. Unguard. The swordfish. Never before has there been a better swordfish. Rattly! I'm just gonna rattly off some things here. Squitter! Look at him go. Look at shoes go. Clapper! 
He didn't actually move, so they just kind of like pan him across the screen. Squawks! Squawks the parrot. Glimmer? He was only in one level, but uh, but he did help us get through with, with his light. And the Kong Clan! We got Swanky Kong! Step right up and see this horrible trash-filled swamp area! Funky Kong on his flying surfboard. I don't know why it's flying, but it is. Wrinkly Kong! Doting professor at the Kong College. Cranky Kong! With two canes now. He's been upgraded since the first one when he was just in a rocking chair. Donkey Kong! You know, you'd think they would have put him on the ground or used like the old uh, idol sprite for that one, but no, he, he's just going along there. Dixie Kong! And the hero of our game, Diddy Kong. And no shenanigans like in the first one. You scurvy Kong crew. So we are not done yet. Uh, we are definitely not done yet. There's still stuff left to do. But I think I've got to actually wait out the credits in order for it to save, so we'll, uh... We'll, we'll sort of just let this go by. But anyway... So far this has been good. I do want to sort of lament the fact, uh, not the fact, but the, the, um... Toxic Tower level, because that one was, was sort of a, a wall for me. Back when I played this, when I, when this first came out, when I was like six years old. Man alive. But, uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite out of the, out of the original Donkey Kong uh, Country trilogy. So that was, uh, that was like super cool that, that I've been able to play this and share it all with you. But the, uh, the main, one thing I actually want to talk about as well is, um, when I was a kid, I, I don't know if I still have the VHS tape, and if I do have the VHS tape, then it, uh, then if the, footage is still on it. But when I, this game first came out, I recorded a bit of me playing the later levels of Donkey Kong Country 2. Like in the, I, I think, I think it was the, the chain link climb level and maybe Toxic Tower. But that was, uh, that was probably when I was like seven or eight. And that could like very well be my first Let's Play, honestly. There's no dialogue, obviously, because I just recorded it off a of VHS and it never... There's, I, don't, I don't even know if there's a way to plug a microphone into a v, uh, VHS player. But, thanks, uh, thanks to the amazing people at Rare and Nintendo for making this game possible. And, uh, thank you for watching. But, I guess it, we're not done yet, so I shouldn't really be, be giving my thanks yet. And I remember, like... Oh man, like, one, some of my friends, like, they couldn't, they couldn't beat King K. Rool, or they didn't know how to, like, how to get to the Lost World and all that jazz. I, I had one friend who thought that the, uh, the Krem coins would be useful for something else. Like, I don't, like, somebody, like, g gave him that, like, that rumor, and he just, like, went along with it, so he never spent any to go to the Lost World and didn't realize that that's what they were, uh, that the Krem coins were for, which is, by the way, what they're for. But anyway... Uh, enough reminiscing, uh, for one, uh, end of Let's Play, because we're not at the end. I don't know why I said end of Let's Play, we're not at the end. So next time, we're gonna be taking on the Lost World levels of Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. See you all then, later.